When Ivor and Ishaila approached political parties seeking a ticket to contest the election, she was snubbed by all of them. She then decided to contest as an independent candidate. Shaila is now the only woman in the state to have filed her nomination for the Lok Sabha election. None of the ladies came out for contesting. So I decided why only, the, uh, only men and no ladies. I'll get up and, and I will try my best. For a state which boasts of a matrilineal system, the figures are dismaying when it comes to women participating in politics. Ironically, women voters in the state outnumber the men. So what's the reason for the poor participation of women in active politics in Meghalaya? Political parties blame it on the lack of interest from the women themselves. I think women prefers to be a kingmaker than to be a king themselves. So I think uh, they have taken a right decision. And uh, for the women, I think we need to empower women. Mm -hmm. The empowerment of women is very important. Very important. But the fact remains that all the political parties have failed to create a space for women. This time, none of the political parties have given a ticket to a woman in the state. Meghalaya is a matrilineal society, but I, I have maintained this in my writings, that the worldview of the people here, including the women, is very patriarchal. So just having a matrilineal system where lineage is from the mother's side, it really doesn't impinge too much on day-to-day -day living. We still place a lot of uh, authority, a lot of uh, leadership on men. In Meghalaya's Kasi tradition, the youngest daughter ensures continuity of the clan. She's not only supposed to be the custodian of the ancestral property, but is responsible for looking after her parents and other elderly members of the clan. Performing the last rites of the aged is also her duty. But still, when it comes to politics, women's participation in the state is one of the worst in the country. It's time the fair agenda takes a step forward in the politics of the state as well. In Meghalaya, women run homes and rule businesses. They also turn up in good numbers to vote. But when it comes to active participation in politics, they normally choose not to contest for elections. And those who do are not encouraged for that. It's time political parties introspect on how to bring more women in politics. With cameraman Sudhir, Rohan Singh, DD News, Shillong.